to play outside, to be physically active, to have a team to root each other on. All of that is a great stress relief that helps with mental health as well. So we have our kinders, our first and second graders. This really affected them the most because the second graders were probably in kindergarten when the pandemic first hit. So their first experience of school was online. So they didn't have that social emotional aspect of being in a classroom setting. So Fit Kids really allows them to work at their own pace, but they're still on a team. But it's simple things because they don't have the basics to be able to play basketball. Like they can't dribble a ball, but they can learn how to toss a beanbag into a hula hoop, and it's the same fundamentals. There's learning, but at a slower pace, but it's also building their social emotional well being up so that they don't feel down when they can't shoot that ball. The CFP Legacy Award is going to benefit our Fit Kids program by allowing us to be able to play more on the soccer field, to actually be able to play soccer games. They are able to right now, but they kind of have to keep it low profile on the kickings and all that because our gates are not high. So with the award that we will be granted to be able to raise our fences, the kids are going to actually be able to play full on soccer games. We're looking into bringing a soccer coach to actually having teams at our school to teach the kids the fundamentals of soccer, which we'll go over in PE as well, but they're actually going to be able to have games here at our own school. Mrs. Rubalcaba is such a hard worker. She's always there and she pushes me to the best of my ability. She knows how far I can go. And if I'm not trying my best, she tells me to work harder. She's just an amazing teacher and always there for us emotionally and physically and mentally my sixth grade PE teacher. He was a teacher and coach that had the most impact on my life. His name was Coach Dino Aldino, and he didn't let me give up on myself. He definitely was a big part in how I teach my own students. We don't have to be the best at something, but we definitely have to just try our best and not give up.